All right, we love a story that will make you smile, and this one certainly will. We have all been there, had a child lose a tooth, and then you don't know where it goes, whether it's on the floor, in a plate of pasta, maybe they swallowed it. Mm -hmm. This happened to a little girl in Lexington when her tooth went missing on an airplane. Yes, it was a bit places. of an airport mishap, not missing luggage, but a missing tooth. Lena and her family were traveling back through the Greenville Spartanburg Airport to Columbia after a long trip. So Lena fell asleep on the plane. When she woke up, she realized her tooth was missing from her mouth. After not being able to go back on the plane and find it, the family ran into the flight crew. And when Captain Joseph saw Lena upset, he Josh. Oh, it's Josh. Oh, okay. Captain Josh. Captain Josh. Mm -hmm. my, my apologies. You don't know Captain Josh? I, I hadn't met him yet, but he's a good Captain guy. Josh. He's a good guy. He took the time to write a letter to the Tooth Fairy on Lena's behalf. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wouldn't expect this from a stranger, you know, in the middle of, you know, at 2 a.m. Um, it was just such a nice thing, just a kind thing to do. So I guess the best part of this is that his mom has seen some of these articles. So just to be able to share that with another mom and say, you raised a really good human, you know, we appreciate that. So I got the note from Captain Josh and I put it under my pillow, of course. And I gave the tooth fairy like a little present, like a <laughs> bead, like that, that purple bead. Sweeten the deal. And she took it. That was kind of brilliant. <laughs> Give her a bead. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so Lena's now back in Lexington and $6 richer thanks to the Tooth Fairy oh. for understanding and Captain Josh for his note. So 